Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for um, this week's vlog because we have like a ton of stuff going on. Just wanted to pick up the camera and bring you guys along. Um, so we're starting off by getting my guest room ready. I have guests coming to town in, well, it's kind of in a few days, but I want to get everything in like tip top shape, like get it perfect because we just got a new mattress. I'm so excited because we have desperately needed a second mattress because when we moved our old guest room, I, my parents moved into my old house and I gave that to my brother so that they didn't have to move his mattress here. So we finally got another one and our guests don't have to sleep on our little like pull out thing. I'm about to show you guys in a second. In our next house, I definitely need another bedroom that is dedicated to being a guest room but i just assumed i just assumed because my parents were moving here we just like wouldn't have as many guests and we probably have a guest every month so i was like i need to get a mattress for this thing because this thing is so comfortable but i feel bad because it's so low to the ground and like sometimes my mom stays over and she loves it she says it's so comfy but for like older people to like get down onto this it's like sleepover vibes and not like guest room vibes so i'm really excited to have it be more like a platform bed and we got a mattress from helix let me pull it out okay here is the mattress it obviously was shipped straight to my door and it is a custom mattress which is really cool because a lot of these box mattresses are like one size fits all but this brand does custom mattresses you actually go on their website you take a quiz and it will literally pair you with your perfect mattress so because this is a guest room one i kind of filled it out in like the happy medium of everything so i think i did like medium this medium that whatever um and i am so excited because they have like so many different ones for like hot sleepers cold sleepers they have their luxe version they have so many to choose from if you just want to like read about all of the different mattresses as well okay one of my favorite things about helix is that they have a 100 day sleep trial so you get to literally try it out for over three months and if you do not like it they will pick it up for you and give you a full refund which is so amazing so incredible because obviously we spend so much of our lives in our mattress sleeping every single night and you definitely want it to be everything that you want and i think that's what you get with this brand because of just their variety of options they have cooling covers like the amount of like add-ons and extras and um different things and you'll see if you go to the website like what you can do with with your mattress is just so amazing because we all are so different with what we want in our sleep and i think that's really really cool also they have free shipping in the u.s we have a king bed downstairs and like brent and i sleep in a king and this is a queen up here so i got a queen mattress to go up here because we actually really need this but as i was taking the sleep quiz i'm like oh my god brent like i really want to like selfishly get this mattress for us um which we like our mattress right now we like it but seeing all of the options that helix has i was like wait do we need to get one of these too i'm going to start to set this up but i do want to tell you guys that i have a 200 dollar off code for this um, also, you can get two free pillows with that and I will have the URL for that down below Just click the link and you will get $200 off your mattress as well as two free pillows So if you're ready for an upgrade if you have a guest room like I do that really needs a bed um, Check them out because I think your guests would be super happy You will be super happy and again that trial you're kind of like not stuck with it if you Don't love it or you could try something different. So Okay, I'm gonna get this set up and you guys can watch me and see how simple it is to do this. And I'm gonna like make up the bed and everything, so. Leave my thoughts on the table Set my keys by the door All these fortune and fate I don't think they need us no more in my head like a blitzkrieg On my heart like a war Coming back for your heart now Cause this one ain't mine anymore Okay, it's all set up. <laughs> 
That was literally so funny to me how fast it opened. I did not even know. I thought it was going to like take time to open up, but I still think it has some time to like fluff up. I got the Helix Midnight Lux and let's see what this one is. It is a breathable um, cooling cover. So I got this because I liked the fact that it had the cooling cover. Literally, this is like freezing. Like it feels so good when I laid on it. I don't even know how that's possible. So it basically says that it effectively pulls away heat and it has memory foam plus the gel. And then I got the medium so that it's designed to match like any body type. Yeah, I'm really excited. There's like coils in these buds and stuff too. It's not just like a big slab of memory foam. So I'm very excited. Here is what it looks like without any bedding or anything on it. Um, I can't get over this cooling topper. Okay, I just opened the pillows. These are so cushy and soft. I'm going to sleep with one of these tonight because I've been having weird neck pain. I'm a big stomach sleeper. And Sky's been sleeping in her bed the last couple of nights. I don't know what it is. She's been like so just like clingy and it's really cute. Like I'm not even mad at it. But anyways, I feel like I've been like cricking my neck up on the pillow like weird. So I want to try one of these tonight and then my mom's going to sleep in this bed. So we'll give like a full comprehensive review on the comfort levels tomorrow morning. But yeah, I'm going to go get some food, let this mattress continue to like fluff up, puff up, air out since it's been in that box. And then I have to get ready because I have a dinner tonight with Lily and Andy are in town. I'm so excited. And they're staying with Rachel. So we're going to go to the Optimist tonight for dinner. And I'm really excited to see them. So I'm going to go get lunch, come back, get ready. And I'll show you guys the bed like dressed up and everything. Okay, I'm on my way to Core Life. I've been eating there way too often, but it's just like so good and healthy and the food is so fresh it's like the only place i can find where it's like always hits like you know how some healthy places random days you go and it's like not it poor life has never done that to me yet so i get the greek um this greek chicken and quinoa bowl and it is so delicious i I'm trying to figure out because I'm in Brent's car and I can't figure out what the temperature is, but it is so hot outside. It's November. Wait, now I can't even see what date it is. Third, fourth. It's November 4th, Friday, and it is blazing. It's like, it must be 80 degrees outside. I am so confused. I was outside all morning with Sky. Oh, which reminds me, I have to tell you guys this story real quick. Um, so I talked about it in a vlog a little bit ago but remember there was a snake on my front porch i later found it dead in my garage but i didn't know it was dead and my mom is literally like she'll she'll do anything like if no one's gonna do it nene will do it so me and my dad were like freaking out how do we get it out my mom comes out she scoops it up with cardboard and she goes it's dead and she throws it in the trash can so that guy was gone good now today we go out on the back where it's fenced in turf we go outside snake laying across the turf not crazy bit but like snake why is there snakes i don't know it's like the guy who lives like not in our neighborhood in the land behind us does not cut his grass and he's like attracting all these snakes for some reason he doesn't cut his grass and the the weeds have just gone up past seven feet tall like they have like become trees the weeds have like become trees over the summer and now it just you can hear the snakes out in his yard and i think that they come through the fence over to like our like side and our neighbors have been seeing snakes too so i don't know what to do i need to put the video because it's literally the funniest video of my life sky's crying because i had to rush her inside because i'm like oh my god baby there's a snake and my mom goes out there with a rake <laughs> and literally gets the snake and i was like what the hell is going on and why are there snakes i was sending it to all my friends like we need to move i need to move i gotta go i don't know what to do <gasps> oh shoot But yeah, there's the update on the snake situation. It's still fully in action. For those of you asking in my DMs about the update on the snake, 
that one ended up dying in my garage and he was all coiled up like dead and I fully thought he was just like taking a nap in the garage. Ugh, I don't know what to do about it all. It really is like gives me chills. Like I have chills on my legs now talking about it. Cause is there like a spray that we can spray like around our house or something because I like get pest control done but clearly that's not keeping the snakes out it only takes care of bugs and we had like a big wasp nest oh my god being a homeowner it's so funny we had a big wasp nest outside too that we just got taken care of and that was like a whole situation because um pest control came sprayed whatever but then it got me thinking like how long do bugs live and like do they where do they go in the winter like i know every bug is different but i legit just like wonder so many things on my day-to-day -day basis like i'm such a question asker and you should see my google search history <laughs> like it probably makes no sense like i just will think something up randomly and then be like googling it like i could can definitely just google like how long does it be be live and where does it go and what happens when it dies and how i don't know I hate Brent's truck. It's like so big for me. I can't even park this thing. When you go in and they say, do you want the usual? <laughs> That's when you know you, you go somewhere too much. Okay, I'm back from getting lunch. And I am going to make this bed up now. And I'm really excited. I got new sheets for it. Okay, and there is the official guest room. It looks so cute. I love that it like builds it up high now and looks like a true bed and it's so cozy and soft. So I'm excited for my mom to stay here tonight and see what it feels like. But um, I need to bring up like a little lamp or something to finish the space for when our friends come. Um, but I'm excited. It looks so good. And then we can just fold up the couch and store the mattress in honestly one of these closets um in like a mattress cover or something for in between people coming in and out but i love it i love this wall it's like lime washed i know it's kind of hard to see on camera yay excited ready for guests Thank you. Thank you. And you want one, ma'am? Yes, please. And then, oh yeah, oh, my yeah. favorite cocktail on the list. Oh yeah. The bow. Oh yeah. Huh? No, 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 no. It has a mild Highland blend of scotches, about three to five years old. It's going to have Kina Kina in it, which Kina Kina is similar to. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up not too long ago. And we're gonna just hang out today. It's like a super crazy windy storm. We just have Sing 2 going. Sky's having her <laughs> snack. Hi. Who's that? Who's that? How was your sleep? Amazing. Did you love it or what? Definitely. I was in need of a good sleep. But what do you think of it compared to like what you used to sleep on when it was just the thing? Oh my God. Versus the mattress. So much better or? It's like night and day. <laughs> no. I, was, I was looking forward to you getting a, something to put on top of that. I know. You yeah, said it was comfy. I know, but it's hard for me. Yeah, that's I what I said. That's what I floor, said. It's so. like hard to get up and off of but the floor. not only that, it was like the perfect amount of firmness and. Really? The, the, yeah, I woke up really refreshed and I'm like, Ooh. usually I get a little tired around this time of the day, but I'm like. Oh good. Go. Oh good. And they're the the shout out to the one twelve. Ah! <laughs> um, did you notice the cooling cover? The top yes. was it cool? Like yes, when you until moved until the cat jumped in and slept on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> and that was 
was Mo. Yeah, Mo wanted to snuggle with Nene. <laughs> <laughs> This is her oh. fake laugh. She does it all day. Like, if we laugh, she does a fake laugh back. Yeah. That's what Sky's eating. They're so, like, healthy tasting. Like, they don't taste delicious whatsoever, but it's the only way she will eat, like, kale or, like, all these veggies. And the ingredients are actually super good. Hopefully, she doesn't get burned out of these because it's... I literally rely on these for her to get, like, her nutrients, but... Obviously, just like her whole milk and everything has everything in it, but this has been for if your kid is picky, try these. They're called Brad's. You can order them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. I order them in big packs, but I usually just pick mine up at Sprouts when I'm there. Um, but yeah. coffee shop I was there doing work today and then I realized there was a bunch of ants around me and I was getting hungry and I didn't really want to eat there because they have more like breakfasty stuff and I'm craving the salad that I've been getting from Core Life it's so delicious okay we're here she's in her pumpkins do you don't forget 730 is the best we do have the games right here in the middle going on. If you pay attention to the screen, you can see all the people that made this thing happen all over. This is my favorite place to get like plant or like landscaping stuff. And they have all of their like fall inventory in and everything is literally stunning. Like so much better than what they had this summer. Something like this, like a unique, we don't want like a little poof like that. Yeah, I like sparse. I'm pillow I just got off of Amazon I love it cute and the cats think it's their bed but I got this because I ordered a red light to do red light therapy I had been looking into it forever and I finally just bit the bullet because I was telling Brent about it and we're both like so super into wellness he's always been into it and I more recently have gotten into it since I've been like struggling more now with my like monthly you know my one week a month that I go through, not my period, but the week before it. I talked about it in my last vlog and so many of you reached out and said you go through a similar, if not the same exact thing since you've had a baby or even like some of you don't even have babies and you have it also. So um, anyways, I've just been looking at natural ways to boost my mood. One of that being going to the sauna, one of that being um, red light therapy, which is what... I splurged on so I got it from platinum LED I feel like out of all the research I've done this is like the best one I definitely wouldn't run out and just like buy this 
until you do your research. I think there is so many benefits to it. Um, I've seen it help hair growth and skin, but most importantly, like boost people's moods and help like recovery with like soreness and things like that. And there's different like dosages of like how long you sit in front of the light. Some people buy like literally a wall of lights and bask in front of it. And like some people have like a full room of it where you have them on the front and back of you. I have a really sore like left side of my upper back so I'm gonna sit facing back my back on it today and then I'm also gonna let it hit my face and everything and see if I feel any instant benefits but this will be my first time doing it. I haven't even taken it out of the box but I've been so excited for it to come. It got here this morning and I really wanted to open it but Sky had a play date so we had people at our house and it, oh my God, they were so cute i ordered um let's see i ordered this stand because it's the second like extension cord i think so yeah extension cord i ordered this stand separately because it doesn't come with it i want to be able to like wheel it around to different locations and like store it in a closet when we're not using it Okay, so that's what it looks like in the stand. I honestly don't mind it because my room is like super white. It kind of blends, but since I can just wheel it around, I can just store it like over in this corner. We have a coat closet right outside of our room right here with nothing in it. I think I'll just end up actually like putting it in there like when people come over and stuff. It's like one of the first things I'm gonna do when I wake up. Brent really wants to use it too, so he'll probably wheel it into the bathroom to do it um because because i'm still sleeping <laughs> when he is getting ready to go to work so he comes with goggles whoa oh my god it's so bright it's so bright okay let's do okay everything is on max right now so there's two different lights i think i'm gonna sit here and just try to relax holy shit this is bright as shit guys i need to shut this off and get naked okay my first session ever is done i really think that i'm going to fall in love with it i'm not even psyching myself out right now because i am not one of those people but my mood well, I kind of was already in a good mood. I need to like do it to see. I've like heard people have like legit shifts in their mood. So I am supposed to get my period in like 10 days. So in five days, all hell is about to break loose. Let's pray it doesn't happen this time. Now that I'm like talking about it, maybe it won't happen this month. But there hasn't been a month since that it hasn't happened. So in about five, four days like i just get this really weird shift and um i have really low energy and feel really 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 sad so hopefully this can pull me out of it i'm literally trying anything at this point i am not someone to like go to a doctor and like take medicine it just is who i am i believe in god and i just really think if there are things that can fix it other than medicine i'm just like not the biggest fan of medicine and um i don't want to take anything that's gonna have that's gonna make like me have weird side effects or things happen to me in the future from taking medication i just have been like super weird about it for a while now like i think like ever since i went to college i got weird about it because when i was little and growing up if something hurt like we would just take motrin like it was nothing and I feel like now there's more awareness around stuff and I don't know. I feel like sometimes medicine can do more harm than good. So red light, it mimics the literal red light of the sun and we just don't get enough red light. And this isn't just like a big, like if you go to the store and buy a red light bulb, like that's not what this is. This has um, infrared rays and different wavelengths that are able to penetrate into your skin because essentially everything 
gives off infrared like light and um heat but it doesn't mean that it can like penetrate your penetrate into you and like do what it's supposed to do that's why they say if you can just get outside you don't need to like go out and buy something psycho like me i'm really just on my health journey right now and they've really um a bunch of studies have just found that like getting outside so much more is such a big solution for so many people i really do feel when i lived in florida i didn't have these issues i was outside all the time i walked to everywhere now that it's getting cooler here and like maybe it's like a seasonal thing seasonal depression is real i'm not meant to be in the cold i'm not meant to be where it's not like swimming weather hopefully this gets me through the winter <laughs> but i just wanted to share with you guys what i'm doing um, because I feel like in vlogs, you're going to see it. It's like going to be, I really want to do my best to make it a part of my daily routine. So I wanted to just like lay it out there, explain what it is, because I already know in the future, people are going to be like, what the heck is this girl doing? You just sit down for a minute now and just chill until Sky wakes up because last night, I don't even want to tell the story. Basically, she wanted to sleep in our bed. She was not in pain. She was not teething. She was not mad she was not doesn't have a cold she literally wanted mom and she was squeezing me like it was the cutest thing but i can't sleep when she's in the bed because she is such a bed hog and she um i just am like i don't know my instinct is just like i'm always like worried about her when she's right there like i feel like she's so much safer and like sleeps better in her own crib like every time she like moves or makes a noise it like wakes me up so I got no sleep last night and um, I'm gonna go chill out for a second, but yeah, I'm excited about my red light.